Hey everyone, this is Uthris, and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're going to be playing a bit of Timber and Stone. This is uh, kind of, it's very similar to Stone Hearth that we were playing earlier, in the sense that it's a management town, a uh, town management game, where we're going to be managing jobs of our citizens, and also building uh, structures block by block, very similar in terms of Minecraft in that sense. This as far as I know, I could be wrong. Pretty sure it came out before Stone Hearth, so it's farther along. This one's in beta. Stone Hearth is still on alpha. Uh, the graphics are a is a lot more pixel art based, as you can tell just from the logo at the top, which is actually it's a pretty nice logo. Um, I appreciate it since I can do some pixel art myself. The the premise, of course, is generally the same. You're going to go, uh, you're a group of settlers, you're going to found a town, and then, um, you know, build up your town and assign people jobs, expand your population to the point that you can defend yourself from, like, goblins, skeletons, and threats, basically trying to attack your structures. So, we're just going to hop in. I haven't played any of this game pretty much uh, I kind of popped in just to see what it looks like and assign some people some jobs but that's about it so really I don't know how to play <laughs> uh, and I enjoy doing that I, I enjoy going into a game pretty blind it, it, it's fun for me to figure out my own way and what I you know think is a good idea and a good plan and I think that's just part of video games in my opinion, you can, you know, you just pick it up and you play. And then when you get so far you get stuck, well, you're going to have to get, figure that out. It's a lot of problem solving for me. And that's what I enjoy. So, we're just going to go ahead into a new game. And I'll generate some different worlds and find one that I like. And then I'll be back and we'll be pretty much working on our settlement going forward. So, I'll see you guys in the town called Freeport. All right, everyone, so I generated a terrain, and as you can see, it is definitely a little different than Stonehearth. Um, the art style, as I said earlier, very much more pixelated. The terrain, and just the way it slopes and things, reminds me of Final Fantasy Tactics a lot, and I kind of enjoy that. It's a very old retro style. I appreciate it. I like it. Probably not for everyone. I'm sure it can hurt some people's eyes, so, you know, it's just, especially if I move around a lot and very quickly, I have a feeling. But anyways, we have a nice coastal region as our starting point, pretty cool in my opinion. We have some little bit of a rolling hills and then some flatter plains areas, and I'm thinking I want to start up here, there's a nice flat area, a decent amount of trees, we have some berry bushes, and I think I'm just going to go ahead and settle. And now to claim a location, we basically, similar to Stonehearth, we plant a flag in Stonehearth, this, we plant our wagon, and this is pretty much how we showed up in the area, which is pretty cool. I'm going to plant it over here by this kind of rock outcrop, I think it is uh, pretty close because we're, we're going to pretty much flatten that section for some stone initially. So, position is chosen. We're going to start our game. And really hope for the best. That was a little bit of a jarring camera change. Kind of wish I didn't do that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and rotate back around. Because this is the view I wanted. As you can see, we are paused for one thing. But all of our villagers are randomly generated. We can name them exactly like Stonehearth, and I'm actually going to carry over names from, you know, the previous save. So, hopefully, you guys don't mind if I do that. I just figured it would save time from you guys having to post the same name twice. First things first, this guy right here with the awesome brown beard and really angry eyebrows. In fact, they all have angry eyebrows going on. Well, actually, that guy's fairly neutral. This guy's going to be Uthris. So I'm just going to open up his stats page. You can see how much HP he has. Immoral. 
the morale, hunger, how much fatigue. And there's a lot of interesting things you can do with these guys. So one, this guy's a carpenter. Um, you can see all his skills and where they are. Uh, you can manage his inventory so he can actually always maintain a certain amount of food or some torch or depending on what he's using some arrows or armor depending on you know his class and then also his uh, his behaviors basically so you can show notification bubbles we can see how he sleep like basically how he sleeps based on fatigue and obviously he wants to sleep when he's fatigued not exhausted because I'm pretty sure he could pass out wherever he is that's no good and we don't even have a bed right now so awake when well rested of course I think if we did energetic they would probably be active and get some sort of bonus in doing so anyways so foster I'm just gonna go ahead and rename him to Luthers. and this will be me hopefully I don't die uh, that tends to be how this goes, so. And we're gonna open up our town roster here. And go ahead and name some people. So, I need to name someone Keelin. And I believe that's a good sounding uh, woodcutter name. And he actually has a decent skill already, so we're just going to name this guy Keelin. He's going to be our woodcutter, at least for now. We can always change him later. We also need a... Uh, what do we need? We need a... A farmer. Actually, let's do gatherer first. So, anyone good at gatherer... Or forager, I meant. So, Walter... Where are you, Walter? So this is our gatherer. And we're going to name you... And I gather... Forager. Different things, people. Different things. I'm going to name you... Ken Adams. Which is awesome. And then we're also going to tell you to gather berries. As your... You know, basic thing. We're also going to have you loot dead. Uh, and so if we kill a unit... He'll go over and actually harvest things from them. Uh, that's about it for now. For you. So you're going to be starting to do that as soon as we get going here. Then at this point we need a female. As you can see we only have one based on the cleavage. A nice wonderful addition in pixels I suppose. We're going to name you from Katrin to Regina Falange, if I have enough space, and we do. In Regina, you, now what are you good at, Regina? I was gonna make you a farmer, but I guess whoever Norbert is, he's gonna do pretty well. How about footmen, infantry here? So we don't need a blacksmith just yet. And so we're going to name this guy Karakos, because it's the only one that suggested being a soldier in the last game. And I didn't get to name one just yet in the other, so I figured, you know, might as well. He does have a beard, but I think it's just hidden underneath that armor. He's got, got, got uh, some nice scruff going on. So... Uh, I need to capitalize that. Carcass. So there you go. You have uh, your unit in. And we're going to go ahead and get started. So, seven minutes to load up a world and talk about the game a little bit. So, what we're going to do is we're going to first put some storage spots down. Uh, I would like to have a wood stockpile. And also a timber stockpile by the cart. And then we will also need a masonry stockpile. This is where stone will go. 
and also something food food crate maybe not quite yet on that one weapons rack no okay so those are the three basic stockpiles you just kind of plop them down the little footprints dictate where they get accessed from so you know not to put a wall there and no one will be able to use it and then what we also need to do here is not dig and mine we need remove trees and we're going to use the chop mature function and we're just basically gonna drag out a nice square here like that and as you can see it only selected trees that are fully grown this will allow the other ones to grow and give us more wood I'm gonna go ahead and hit play and people are gonna kinda get started here unless my game just crashed game did you did you crash I think it did crash that's awesome all right everyone uh, I don't know if it's my recording software or really what's doing it but basically what's happening is that my game is crashing occasionally and I'm having to record this in a little bit of a weird fashion the last crash kind of corrupted the save because it crashed that hard and I went ahead and renamed everyone so everyone's here uh, we have Luther's Ke Keelin, uh, Regina, Ken Adams, and Karakos. And everyone's kind of the same uh, job. Obviously, these guys are waiting to build some supplies, but we haven't chopped down any resources. Our map right now, generally the same. Generally the same. Uh, we're building inside this valley right now, but we do have a nice coastal region, plenty of trees, it looks like, and we also have a uh, little bit of a river. Definitely pretty interesting. We might be able to build a bridge across that at some point once we're rich enough. But for now, we're just kind of harvesting some of our beginning resources. Our miner here, uh, Cassandra, is gathering all of this rock over here. Killeen is our wood chopper, at least for now. And hopefully he'll be building a raw wood stack here soon. And then eventually the carpenter will build a timbering bench, which will allow them to make timber pile, which I'm going to move that construction over into, where is it? What? Over here, by the actual wood pile, uh, not wood pile, the timbering bench, so that they don't have to walk quite as far, which is pretty cool. I'm just going to go ahead and speed up time. Now, our gatherer, which is, actually, let me, let me talk about Karakas a little bit here. So, can we maintain a sword for you? What do you have in your inventory right now? Mm, pretty much nothing. Okay, encumbrance, I guess we can maintain how much they can actually carry. Probably affects how quickly they move. Uh, we are dropping off some of our lumber, which is nice. We pretty much dropped it straight off so that the uh, timbering bench is made. This person now is actually going ahead and making the workbench, which is pretty cool. And then with the workbench up, we can actually go into resources here and maintain one club, which would be pretty cool. And then also we're gonna maintain some basic hand tools, such as one stone hammer one stone axe, a uh, stone hoe for farming, and a stone pick. 
We don't have any ingots just yet, so we get to kind of chill for now. Uh, we're going to track how much food we have. We're going to track how much raw stone, how much raw wood. And then uh, pretty much go from there. We also, what we need to do is process some timber. And we're going to maintain eight timber at all times, which would be pretty cool. As you can see, our person's chopping away now. They're going to pick up uh, logs that our chopper gets and then process them into proper pieces of wood. Now, bricks. We're going to hold off on for now. At least for a little bit. Our gatherer. What do we what do we got for you right now? You're level four. It's pretty cool. You just dumped a whole bunch of food into our storage cart, which is really nice. Provides 40 mass for all storage types, as you can see here. It's pretty cool. Uh, that's a lot of inventory space for now. I guess we didn't really need to build the stockpiles right off like that either. See? Where, where, where are you going? Taking some raw wood and putting it where? Huh, that's weird. I don't really know why he hasn't built the wood stack yet, but oh well. Yeah, and that's something I'm going to question. I'm just happy the game isn't crashing at the moment. Alright guys, so we're, we're trying this as well. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I kind of made it back into a full screen mode. And the uh, nice thing is that we have one, I turned on kind of advanced shadows, which is, makes the game look a little bit easier on the eyes for sure. And especially around the trees, it adds a lot of kind of depth to them. But what we're going to do is I'm going to try uh, to construct some type of... Oh, let's go... Some type of house, I guess. And I don't know how to do this, really. And so, actually, what you might have to do is you actually have to mine out, I think, probably the floor first. So we're just going to build a nice little shack. Nine by five. Actually, let's go nine by seven. So we're going to do that. And then our miner will get started on that and clearing that land out for us. And then we'll use uh, some wood to, you know, put in a floor. So that we can kind of get started on a, a temporary shelter while we kind of get our bearings straight. Um, it feels like it's going to be a pretty rough start since I'm a little overwhelmed with all the things I need to be doing. Um, I laid down this hall here. This is like zone. I don't know how to get rid of it. In fact, I really wish I knew how to get rid of it. I just don't. So I'm going to have to Google that off later to try and figure that out. But right now, we're just trying to get some more gameplay going. Foragers, doing great. Our footman here. Uh, we went ahead and made him a club for Karakos. And he is level 3. Wouldn't mind... What is, what is Bernard? Bernard's a builder. Uh, level 5 Carpenter's doing fine. Can Adams, he's our farmer. In fact, we're gonna... 
Let's go ahead and make a couple farms. So we're gonna grow, I guess, some corn, since we have four corn seeds. So let's uh, put that over here in this area. Something like that. And then let's also grow, uh, let's go four turnip as well. So I don't know how many farmers we need for how many crops we're growing or anything like that, but hopefully it works out. I don't know where our gatherer is. I actually kind of want to jump to them. Uh, forager is me, uh, at least right now. So I'm going around harvesting some wonderful berries, obviously carrying some food. How's my fatigue? All right, apparently I'm clumsy too. So uh, that's something to note. That I don't know what that means, but I like their harvest animation. They're, they pretty much, uh, he looks like he's beating off to a shrubbery. I mean, just look at that. It's, uh, yeah, double fist style on that one. Let's go up into our wonderful little valley here. Now, it would be great to, of course, have a castle in the siddle, uh, in the center, and then surrounded by some buildings, uh, and then maybe an outer wall. I don't know yet. At least how much stone that's gonna cost. Who knows? Might get a little intense for that. I wonder how. Two, three, four, five. You can page up and page down through the different levels so you can kind of see what you're working on depending on what level of the terrain you're at. So we're just testing to see how far down we could go in case I actually want to make a mine. So we're gonna go ahead and construct flooring. We're going to use a flat stone. Oh wow, you can definitely get some different block types on this thing. Let's do a timbered floor. Um, something like that going. That might look pretty cool. Obviously, the carpenter will start busting out some more planks as the builder starts using them up. And of course, as we get more people, we can start kind of switching people's jobs around and things of that nature. Like Sandra here is a miner, not really doing anything really at the moment, but I don't really want to have her working constantly, at least not yet. Let's actually go ahead and Finish flattening this little section there. And then I guess we can also flatten this section. Might be pretty nice. So I'm just kind of taking off the top layer at the moment, making sure everything's flat and clean lo looking. Construction's actually kind of a lot slower than Stone Hearth, which I like. Um, this guy actually feels like he's really laying down a floor and having multiple builders is going to help out a lot. I do kind of want to show off a nice boar. A decent model for sure. Pretty clean. And we are in fast forward kind of speed, which is nice. Okay. You need to move. You're, you're really in the way, Lawrence. You're not doing anything. You're, you're just being a stonemason. Uh, Karakos, you are also in the way, preventing people from getting into the cart. Is there any way I can set you on a patrol? Uh, combat training, stay idle. Seek charge. Target. Let's uh, walk patrol routes. A patrol route. Can I design a patrol route? Military. Patrol route. That's actually pretty cool. Um, so we're just going to 
give you a nice square route that you can patrol around. And finish that. So there you go. You're going to kind of just patrol around our, you know, very close perimeter for now. It's pretty cool. I don't know if that does anything for us. Or if it just have you stand in one position the whole time or not. Uh, let's go ahead and construct... We're gonna be probably living outside for a while. Straw bed, we need leather for that. Blanketed bed, we don't have anything for that. Medium table, dresser, fireplace. There's a decent amount of furniture options here. So let's go ahead and do make a stone forge for ourselves. This will be nice later on for a blacksmith. Do we even have a blacksmith yet? At least not quite right now. But that's okay, we don't really need one. Our stonemason leveled up down here at the bottom. Still constructing that nice floor. That's gonna take a while. Kind of surprised at how long it's taken. Let's go ahead and pick a wall. Castle ruin, castle brick, field stone, full timber wall, plaster. I don't know what that resource is. What is that? Plaster. How do we make this? It requires a mason, and it's just raw stone and dirt. Mason level six. Let's go ahead and just do a full timber, at least for now. I really don't know what these buttons do. Is this like a detailed block version? No. Some type of pillar. Let's just let's just stick to a wall. Keep it nice and simple. Don't need to make this any more complex. So, should I leave a spot open for the door, I guess? Timber door, brace door. I guess we're gonna have to use a timber door. Okay, something like that. I don't know how long that's going to take. But I'm pretty sure our carpenter's gonna work on that. Our farmer's kind of farming away. And in fact, I'm just gonna go ahead and do a skip, I think, to when this building is fully constructed. That way, you guys get to see something. And then also, it won't be nighttime anymore. I'm pretty sure it's pretty hard to see. So we'll be back, and we'll do a summary on how the series is basically going to play out, and yeah. Alright everyone, it looks like it took about two days in game time to let the builder finish our first little hut here, and this is again just kind of a temporary structure. As you can see, there's no furniture in it just yet, but we're going to be making some beds as soon as possible to put in here and maybe some basic storage uh, for food and that'll be pretty much all this building's used for because at the moment uh, everyone's kind of sleeping on the floor so I think that'll do it for this episode though if you guys are enjoying the video feel free to subscribe let me know in the comments down below what you would like to see done uh, if you have any name suggestions for our civilians uh, that would be great too we have about we have one female uh, and two males at the moment that aren't named. So if you want to suggest something, let me know. And I think I'll end this episode here. Thanks for watching as always, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.